hello viewers welcome back again at Banformatics review today i'm gonna show you how to install autodoc vena on ubuntu it is based on an article published in Banformatics review if you would like to read more about autodoc vena uh, use of uh, autodoc vena in blind docking and site specific docking you can find find them on our website and that is bioinformaticsreview.com and you can also find the video tutorials how to how to perform blind docking and site specific docking using autodog vena on our youtube channel and also if you would like to know about how to uh, analyze the autodog vena result you can also find that too so today uh, let's get started as you can see here i have already installed the mgl tools and autodog vena packages if uh, you would like to install them uh, at first then you can install them from the website or if you if you want to uh, install them via command line so i'll tell you how so let's first open the terminal let's update our system first it is a, ba a, ba a it is a good practice if you are installing new software packages then you should update and upgrade your system first so first we are going to update it and then we will upgrade our system it is going to take a little while okay okay it's done now let's upgrade it okay i have actually uh, already upgraded my system so uh, if you are upgrading your system for a long time then it will take a, you know it, it, will, it will take a long time so let's okay first let's uh, download these packages if you want to download them via command line uh, let's define a folder first I have this folder desktop and I'm going to install everything in this folder okay so just get this command okay uh, copy this and then here paste it okay i think this link is broken now so if you want you can always download it via you can google it tools I think this uh, link is not working right now maybe it, it will be working after a long while so okay and after that you will have to install the autodoc Vena you can install autodoc Vena using this command also you have to look for your system because uh, either your system supports the 32 bit or the 64 bit okay so be careful while you're downloading the MGL tools package it's it, it is very important which version you download for uh, you know which platform so just hit and enter and it will download it okay no right. maybe either it's the connection problem or something just let's go back i have uh, already installed it uh, sorry already downloaded these packages and let's just skip to the other step first we will untard this rules. okay as you can see there is a new folder here this is mgl tools you can untard this also it will show you the docs and you know some examples also and this one too let's untard this package to mgl tools oh, sorry tar x z Here is a new folder called 
tools here there is install.py and this thing okay let's go back to tutorial after that oh yeah okay and uh, let me tell you one thing it is better to install the python pil this library because most of the times it gives an error for missing imaging c module so you can download it from this url okay and then just untar it and install it or uh, in my case this issue was resolved by installing this library so it's better if you download them also first because later it will it is going to give you an error okay and also if you are going to run autodoc2 then you will also need autodoc suit that is autodoc4 and auto grid 4 but today i'm just going to tell you how to install autodoc mina it's a good practice if you want to install them then you can always can and if you are installing them then you can find it on this tutorial how how to how to do this okay so we have already untar this mgl tools now we are going to enter in this okay cd space mgl tools okay here you see there are many packages hmm i have already untarred this one mgl tool packages and now we are just going to install it dot slash install dot and it's installing right now okay setting up python home it will prompt this commercial user then just click ok okay it's installed now let's go back to our desktop folder where i have this autodog vena let's untar this one tar xvzf okay now let's enter the folder okay here we see there are two folders bin oh sorry one folder that is bin if you go to bin there is vena and this is vena split so these are executables you don't have to uh, do anything further after that you just need to create some aliases okay now uh, let's come to the creating aliases folder oh, sorry create creating aliases step here uh, you are going to edit the uh, uh, bash rc file so uh, yes and remember the pathway remember the pathway for your thing because you have installed in this uh, I, we have installed in desktop or you in or you are installing in download so then change the pathway according to this also the password for this for mgl tools yes okay so let's go back here and type sudo gedit slash dot dash rc and there is one sign okay go to the end of the file yes here you will find this this is you have to type alias add is for autodoc vena and here you you can you can name it anything whatever you want okay so it's just add and uh, with a single quote type sudo and your pathway to the bin add file and let me show you the bin edit file okay so if you are installing in desktop then write home username and then desktop then mgl tools x86 whatever uh, version you are installing and then bin and then slash edit as shown here close the single quote save the file and then go back to the terminal now type source dot slash sorry slash dot dash rc file okay and after that if you type add it will open okay 
and don't get confused here as I have shown you in the pathway for uh, creating aliases of ADT because I have already installed in downloads folder so that's why it was downloads and just to show you I installed it in the desktop again so it's it's not a problem so remember the folder which you are installing it in and the uh, next thing is don't mess up with the pathways and uh, and when you are creating aliases remember the alias and also as I told you install this image library this is important and also if you have already installed bionic beaver that is ubuntu 18.04 so you can easily download it uh, install it via command line just enter sudo apt and get install auto dog dash Mina. it will prompt for your password so i have already installed it so it is showing that, that this is already newest version so it's the easiest way but for ngl tools you will have to download the package and install it and then create aliases for your uh, gui the graphical user interface and then uh, now it now since it has been installed you can easily use it uh, just use the command line uh, for vina dot uh, sorry not dot exe it's for windows so just type vina and then config file log file and, and then that's it if you would like to read more articles regarding bioinformatics review you can always visit our website www.bioinformaticsreview.com and you can sign up for our facebook page or if you want to follow us on twitter and if you have any kind of query or question, you can always email us at info at the and muniba at the Thank you. That's it for today. And next time we will try to bring you some other kind of tutorial which will help you. Thanks a lot.